Hello and welcome out to another video on the Chang Lee Monster Mod build. And I really appreciate all those who have subscribed to my channel. And I want to thank my sponsor for this channel, K9 Sports Sack. Click the link below for 10% off K9 Sports Sack. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created a special mount for this big old Motenergy 6 kilowatt motor. If you've seen my previous videos on the Chang Lee, you'll see the stock motor is this tiny little lunchbox of a motor. Not very much power definitely not capable of running these huge tires. If you've seen my other drivetrain upgrade video, you'll see that I used a three kilowatt motor from Amazon. It turns out it wasn't actually a three kilowatt motor. It was really more like one and a half, and I had to almost burn it up to get one and a half kilowatts out of it. The motor that I ended up with was a really nice, beefy, sealed, six kilowatt continuous motor that was capable of three times that for two whole minutes. At 18 kilowatts, that's 24 horsepower, and for two whole minutes, that's plenty of time for you to get up and go. In order to mount this new big old motor onto the original differential, I had to make a special like cage mount for it so that I could adapt the shafts from the new motor to the shaft that came off the old motor that I ended up having to cut. Now's where I start getting into non-reversible mods on this thing. The first setup was using set screws to lock on the shafts. Even though I put Loctite on those set screws, they ended up coming loose a couple times. So it really wasn't that great a setup. I'm really happy with the way this new setup came out. It spins really true, and it's able to transfer the power without loosening up. So this new motor sticks so far out of the differential that I actually put a brace on the end. Not only did it brace against torque, which it, it probably helps with that, but the main thing was there's so much weight out there, I just didn't want to put it on those little screw mounts that were designed for the tiny motor that came with this car. So I ended up welding that brace onto the axle so it had a nice firm hold. With this big old motor, I was really expecting this thing to be a fire-breathing dragon, and to be honest, I was a little underwhelmed. Now, when creating a high-performance system of any kind, you really have to find all the bottlenecks and eliminate them. So in some of the subsequent videos, I'm actually gonna try the bigger speed controller that I bought from Kelly Motor Controls. It's the next size up from what I have now, and I'm hoping that I can actually try and pull a little bit more power out of these batteries, assuming that they can actually deliver more than what I'm getting now. Other things that I plan on doing to this is adding another battery under the hood and increasing the voltage from 60 to 72 nominal volts. I feel like that will give me the little extra boost that I'm looking for without trying to pull more current out of these batteries, which may end up damaging these sealed lead acid batteries if I try and pull too much current out of them. Once again, thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out my channel as a small fry YouTuber when people engage with my content. So I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.